Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. Truly appreciate you coming. My name is Sergeant Christopher Fry, F-R-Y, of the Meriden Police Department. I'm accompanied by a major crime detective, John Wagner, W-A-G-N-E-R. In August of 2016, our officers responded to a nearby housing complex and where we found a middle-aged adult male had been succumbed to fatal wounds. In the course of the past two and a half years, Detective Wagner has worked tirelessly with countless interviews, multiple witnesses, DNA evidence, and just, I'd say, hours upon hours of video surveillance to be able to determine what we find today is that Detective Wagner has submitted a warrant for the arrest of Jose Luis Gonzalez for the charge of murder, and where we believe that he is the direct cause to the death of Mr. Felix Rodriguez. At this time, we understand there's a lot of questions, and we hope to be able to answer them in due time. Because of the sensitivity of the issue and some of the prerogatives of the state's attorney's office, we are going to keep it limited at this time. If you have any questions, be happy to answer them the best that we can while we preserve the sanctity of the investigation and the prosecution. The victim, the first race is at Jose Luis Gonzalez? The two names are, have been transposed, so it's flip-flopped. I think I've already covered it with John Bell. I think you said Felix, though. They say Felix. Right. The victim is Felix Rodriguez. The victim is Felix? Right. Right. The suspect is Jose Luis Gonzalez. That should have been a correction if you didn't get it already. My apologies. Uh, where was the suspect found? Was he local or was he elsewhere? He was in his residence. So in a nearby building, right on Willow Street. He found a past history with him? With whom exactly? Did he have a prior record of the suspect does have a, a, a record of burglary charges, uh, has been in and out of jail, and is currently incarcerated, and we're, we're transitioning him from detention to be heard today. When was he taken into custody? It's been a number of different times. Most recently, he's been, for this case, it's just a transition. He's already been incarcerated on a prior case since, I think it was early September. So he's been brought over today to be arraigned. He was arrested in prison. Correct. He's been arrested in prison on these charges. And what are the charges that he faces now? Uh, murder. Simple as that. And where, where did the homicide actually happen? We're perpetrating it. It happened in the victim's residence. Is there any known connection between the victim and suspect? I think there's a lot of questions that we want answered. This is the first step in getting many of those. So. In that respect, we're going to hold off on some of the other intricacies of this case. Um, for the time being, we're going to withhold that. Has he been cooperative with the investigation, the suspect? We're going to withhold that at this time. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of questions that everybody wants answered. This is merely a step in announcement that we could offer at least the answer to some questions for the family. I understand some of the family is in court today to be there for the arraignment. Uh, I would have to say that this, this is far from closure. Uh, how could we possibly understand why this happened? But at least this is a step in the direction of maybe answering some of those questions. What is the bond he's currently held on for this case? So $1 million bond. Did you talk about the motive? Not at this time. <clears throat> like I said, there are a lot of questions people are going to have, and we are going to reserve those for the sanctity of the case. Has he been under the person that's not been arrested been on your radar for a while? In terms of a suspect of the case, it's someone that had been identified. And like I said, this, this case, it took approximately 50 interviews, several dozen witnesses, video surveillance, DNA. So to that extent, no one's really canceled out. It's for the hard work of Detective Wagner and the time he put in, the effort and the resolve he has in trying to bring some answers to these questions to the family members that he's worked tirelessly to be able to provide. At that point, if you look at what he's really starting with is uh, a blank canvas and he's been able to put a picture together since then and for that I know that our community should feel a little bit better about the resolve of our detectives. Was there one thing that really broke the case? That if uh, I don't think we're going to be at liberty to discuss only because we'll wait for the state's attorney to kind of narrow down on what it is they want to specifically release to the media. Again this is more about trying to answer some of those questions for the family and to demonstrate some of the resolve of uh, Detective John Wagner. Was this isolated or was there any sort of concern about danger to the community at the time? Not at the time. I know we did do a press release at the time that simply that there had uh, 
been an assault, a fatal assault, someone who had been murdered, it was being treated as a homicide investigation. But in terms of uh, alerting a mass area, we didn't believe so. Can you say anything about why this investigation was blank slate blank The motive is clearly something that we want to be able to answer at some point. And as the, the trial progresses, we hope to be able to answer that for you. Can you say these are the kind of body was found? You know, unfortunately, in the worst case circumstance, the body was found by a family member. It's clearly something that's traumatizing, and we hope that they'll be able to heal over time. Was there a like a welfare check or something? <clears throat> or do you recall? If memory serves me, it happens to be where a family member was worried about Felix. Precisely. Okay, I'm going to. The, the date that the, the body is found? It's in August of 2016, if someone has it. The 11th? August 11th of 2016. Thank you, Lord. She's the best. <laughs> the victim was found in his own apartment? Correct. Uh, I'll allow Detective John Wagner, if you guys have any questions for him or if there's any statements he'd like to make. Want to step up? No? Okay. All right, guys, anything else? All right, thank you for your time. Appreciate it.